Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how we can run cell script that is .sh files on a Linux server. So .sh files are cell scripting files and we can run these files in terminal on a Linux system. So I'm logged in uh, in my Linux server as root user. So let's first uh, create a cell, simple cell script file. So use command touch and I'm going to give my script dot sh this will be the file name my script my underscore script dot sh so we have just created this file my script dot sh and dot sh is the file extension used for cell scripting files now let's open this file in nano editor so nano Mind. So, in nano editor, let's add some basic command. So, first line will be the just has exclamation mark slash bin slash by and then we just need we are just going to print a simple line. So, echo hello friends. So this is simple, just a very basic <laughs> a scripting file. So let's save this file using command uh, control O and now exit nano editor using command control and X. Okay. So, uh, so we have created a simple script file. Now we now how we can run this script file so there are three ways to run this script file first is using bash command so bsh and my underscore script dot sh and you can see that this is printing that text hello friends now another way is using sh command so sh and file name so my script dot sh and this is also printing the hello friends text. Now the third one which is most common is dot then slash another file name my script dot sh. Now this is giving us some error messages and this is permission denied. So we are getting a permission denied message. This is because we need to set the execute permission to this script file so how we can do we can do this using cs mode command so cs mode plus x and the file name my underscore script dot sh and now let's run my underscore script and now we can see that this is now also running hello friends so friend this was a small tutorial how we can run a script files so there are three ways first is using bash command bsh and second is using sh command sh and the file name third one is dot slash and the file name thank you